So I want to respond to a comment I had the other day from uh, one of my videos on, on my channel. Which was about astral projection and lucid dreaming. And in that video, I basically said that lucid dreaming and astral projection, in my opinion, they're both kind of real. Although lucid dreaming is the only one that's been proven scientifically, astral projection, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, is also just as real. People experience this for real in real life and although it's not been proven scientifically, that shouldn't mean that we can't believe in it or that we don't know that it's real, in my opinion. And so I got a comment which went something like this. I'm halfway through the video and I'm a bit confused. Are you really arguing that we should believe in things before they're proven just because they might be possible? And this comment got a few upvotes and so I thought maybe you guys were interested in my opinion on that comment. So the way I see it, Many things in life and in history have been debated or doubted before they were proven or before the public as a whole genuinely believed that they were true. This goes back as far as history goes, pretty much. Before history even started being recorded, people would doubt something and then later on it would be proved to be right or they would be proved wrong. This goes back as far as we can remember. People have always doubted things and not known the truth about things. For a long time, the whole world thought the world was flat, okay? And it's only when someone actually went around it that they discovered it was actually round. Now, this is a kind of an extreme example because yeah, that was a very long time ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Humans in general are often wrong about many things and that includes astral projection. People most of the time if they, if they don't understand something, or if they have an idea built up in their head from whatever reason, from whatever place, right? Maybe they had the idea built up from the media or from their friends or family, or just ideas they've read online, or maybe they even just came up with a, a belief themselves. Quite often, they are quite strong beliefs, and it's only when we question these things that we can change them. So astral projection is a huge example of that, okay? Unless you're open to things like this, you're gonna just shut it down and just consider it to be fake just because it's not been proven by science. Now, you have to ask yourself, okay, what would be the motives for proving this with a scientific study or a test? There would be basically no motive for any company to fund that study. Because think about it, why would people fund that study? That it wouldn't benefit any company financially really. It's difficult to learn, okay? So even if it is possible, that doesn't mean everyone is suddenly going to be able to do it, okay? It's very difficult to learn. So for that reason, yes, I am arguing that we should believe in things before they are proven. Yes. Not everything. Now, here's where I want to specify, okay? If we believe in everything before it's proven, then yes, we would end up believing pretty much every belief under the sun would have competing ideas and beliefs in our heads. Now, I'm not saying believe everything before it's proven. I'm saying believe some things before they're proven. Now, astral projection is something that is hard to prove because it involves traveling to different dimensions. It's hard to prove something in this dimension relating to something in another dimension because it's a different dimension. This makes sense. Like, if we have in this reality and this dimension a series of scientific tools and everything like that, and we can measure things here, that doesn't mean that we can measure them in a different dimension because it's a completely different thing. It's a completely different world. So there's no way at the moment of us actually measuring something in another dimension. Now, we can have sort of some idea as to what's going on. We might have some clues, but really the best thing we have to go on at the moment is people's subjective experiences. However, if people all around the world that are not connected at all by you know any kind of club or okay, motivation. If people all around the world throughout history, throughout different civilizations, different wars, different, you know, economic stresses and everything, at times where there would be no motivation for people to say this stuff, to tell people their experiences with astral projection, then that is something to take more seriously because why would they lie? Why would everyone around the world make up a story that happens to be the same or very similar to other stories about astral projection. Why would they do that? You know, and it's a crazy situation where there's no motive for doing it. So that, why would people do that? Like, there's no reason why people would actually make that up. Now, one of the comments on that video is from a YouTube channel called Cats2079. And they said, you use lucid dreaming as an example of something that was always real, but many people didn't believe in it until it was proven. And that's somehow a bad thing, uh, question mark. Now, they then went on to say, people didn't believe heavier than air flight was possible until the Wright brothers came along and proved that it was, but it was always possible. Okay, was the world wrong to go around saying humans can't fly? Now think about this for a second. If everyone had this belief and this mindset, no innovation would ever happen. If every person in the world had the mindset of this person that commented, nothing would change and we would never improve at anything because we would assume that it's not possible. If everyone, including the Wright brothers, thought 
yeah, there's no way we can fly. We're too heavy. There's no possible way in this reality for humans to fly in a plane. We would never have planes. We would never have commercial airfares. Like, there, that wouldn't be a reality right now. It's only because someone, or in this case two people, the Wright brothers, challenged what we didn't know, what was not proven scientifically. They challenged that and said, actually, I think we can do it. I think it's possible. And so I'm going to try and do it. And that's what, you know, brought the, the plane to reality. That's what made us have that in our reality now. I think it's very damaging to go around thinking that just because something isn't proven, it's not possible. If that happened, we would have no innovation and things like flying wouldn't exist. And this goes for any invention. Anything that was first invented had to change the paradigm that was there before it was invented. Before the light bulb existed, okay, no one thought it was possible. It wasn't proven, of course, because no one had done it. And so when it was invented, that was a change in our paradigm and our reality. That was a, an improvement on our reality. And I'm sure you would agree that all of these things, flight, electricity, radio waves, internet, this is all, these are all inventions and discoveries that happened because someone had the belief that something was possible, even though it was not proven at that point. And so I'm just saying, be a bit more open to this, okay? Astral projection is something that not only do millions of people around the world do and experience and, you know, tell stories about, but it's something that can really be beneficial to you if you do learn how to do it. And there are techniques you can learn how to do it. Like I have videos on my channel. There are things you can read online. There's different ways you can learn how to astral project. But I would urge you more than anything else, question everything. Everything that is now possible at one point in history was thought to be impossible.